Good morning, everyone. I am working on a top step combine. Um, as you know, I've decided to move down to one contract and to keep it at one contract in order to give myself the best chance of um, staying in this game for the long run. Um, I want to talk about some of the mistakes, why I'm currently in drawdown, and then about this current entry. So this um, grind up that we had during the Asian session and during the London session was a very slow uh, a slow sort of affair where we ended up making a three drives pattern and I was trying to get short much earlier <clears throat> and the mistake really was knowing your daily profiles um, this was a very dubious high uh, because it came during New York midnight and really the high of the day um, or even the high of the session should not come during that time of the day and so that was a very sort of strange high um, obviously it was also very illiquid so that was a long wick in efficiency um, this high right here coming at 0510 towards the, towards the uh, end of the the London AM session is a much more reliable high. Um, I'm trying now really to follow Michael's advice as much as possible um, and so he says aim for the lowest hanging fruit so I am aiming for just the very first low and then we'll see if we can grind back from there. Um, every trade that you take needs a multiplier okay so the multiplier that I used was called a turtle suit pattern Now you could have also treated it as a three drives pattern as well uh, what is a turtle suit pattern? Well, it's basically um, a false breakout or just a sweep or a small run <clears throat> of a prior high. That is a very good looking high there because it comes at 0510 and that would be a very reasonable time for price to put in a high. So I'm feeling pretty good about where I am now. Um, but I was trying to get short earlier and so that was a uh, that was definitely a mistake in price analysis. Um, you need to remember, well, I need to remember uh, your times of the day and when um, when the high should come in. And it really should not come in at, the higher the low should not come in at New York midnight. So that o, 0010 uh, is not the right, it's really not the right time of the day for a high to be put in. So. You had a number of multipliers on the towards the upside that uh, could have gotten you in to this slow grind up, uh, but I really wasn't interested uh, after Price had made such a large run up. I was only trying to short, and really the optimal pattern here was to wait for Price to eventually grind its way above that high, which it did. Um, I think the only thing that fooled me so much is how slow Price was to get up there. It looks like it's going quickly now back to the downside, but man, when this thing was grinding up there, it was taking forever. It was very liquid, um, and that, that definitely had me fooled. So uh, just, you know, I'm, I'm pleased now that I'm using risk management. So if I had been on two contracts, I would have already been blown out. Uh, but because I'm sticking with one contract, I can get back to uh, break even. Um, during the course of the day and, and hopefully make a profit so because I'm sticking with one contract and using risk management I'm still alive uh, and and I think this if this trade works out uh, I'll almost be back to break even on the day and then and then we'll work during the regular trading hours today and I tend to do better during the regular trading hours I found anyways um, you know where price is actually moving and, and things are make a lot more sense but um, anyways, remember, remembering your daily profiles, the high should not come at New York midnight, right? That was a very dubious high, and it now it makes sense to me in hindsight, okay, uh, why that high was ran and then put in, put in a sustainable high at 0515, which is, um, which is the right time for it to make a high. So anyways, um, I'm trying to implement Michael's teachings to the letter. Uh, I've I've lowered the I've lowered the risk as much as I can. I mean, we're sitting on one contract now. Other than other than playing the micros, 
uh, this is as low as I can go. So using risk management, um, I was off on my timing. I eventually did get the correct multiplier to use, which was the turtle soup pattern. Um, there's probably going to be another multiplier come in, like this could be a breakaway gap, for example, and you could use that as a multiplier as well. But uh, best multiplier here to use was definitely the turtle soup pattern. So above this, you could have even just shorted right at that high and waited for price to come on back. But in any event, so it took a while. It, you know, I think in the future, if I'm looking to refine my entries, you got to remember what time of the day it is, um, if it's the right time for something to happen, if it makes sense for something to happen at that time. So. Anyways, I'm feeling pretty good about this trade. Um, you know, price could come back up and kind of play around up here and then turn back down. This is kind of what I'm expecting. Um, so I'm going to be holding on to this trade probably for a few hours. Uh, and I'm going to aim, you know, Michael says go for the, the lowest hanging fruit. So I'm going for the nearest low, which is down here. Um, and I expect that to be delivered in a couple of hours. So. Anyways, this has just been a quick review. I'm not going to show the executions because they're kind of um, embarrassing. Uh, but anyways, got to remember, I have to remember uh, times of the day, um, your, yeah, yeah, your, your daily profile. So that 0515 is right about, that's a very good time for price to put in a high. Uh, 00. 10 is, is definitely not the right time for price to put in a high. So trying to work on my timing and then if I can get my daily profiles and my timing along with getting a good um, multiplier like a turtle soup pattern is a good multiplier to use oftentimes especially in illiquid market conditions then uh, you know we'll get there uh, and if I use risk management if I stick to one contract and and hit a good enough strike rate and all that good stuff should come out with um, get back to break even and then and then get to a profit on the day. So, all right, I'll check back in with y'all later, and we'll see where price goes from here. Bye.